Well, in Japan, the now former Princess Marco has wed her college sweetheart after years of controversy. By marrying a commoner, she chose to relinquish the royal life and her title. She's also foregoing a $1 million payment. The ceremony was a muted and private affair, but afterwards, Marco and her new husband held a press event and spoke of their love for one another. They also addressed the intense scrutiny over their relationship. And now Blake Essig joins us now live from Tokyo to talk more about this. Good to see you, Blake. So the couple has come under extreme pressure. And as a result, this was not a joyful wedding, but instead full of apologies. Talk to us about that and what all has been said about them. Yeah, you know, Rosemary, not the royal wedding that really anyone expected. Uh, Japan's former princess, Mako, and her new husband, uh, commoner Kei Kamaro, have officially tied the knot. And as I said, if you were expecting a royal fairy tale wedding, prepare to be disappointed. There was no pomp and circumstance whatsoever. Uh, a big reason for this scaled back affair that we saw has a lot to do with the intense public scrutiny that's taken its toll on the couple over the past few years. Uh, in fact, the now former princess recently disclosed that she suffers from complex post-traumatic stress disorder uh, as a result of her relationship being picked apart uh, over the past few years. Now, since the engagement was announced in 2017, their relationship has been met with scandal, public disapproval, and media scrutiny fueled by reports that Kamoro's mother failed to pay back $36,000 that she borrowed from a former fiancé. Now, instead of the extrava extravagant affair uh, that we, I think a lot of people here, hoped they would see, uh, the couple simply registered their marriage earlier this morning, around 10 o'clock local time, uh, before holding a brief press event in the afternoon to publicly express their love for each other, uh, thank the public for their support, and discuss what they felt were unfounded rumors. Take a listen. He was criticized arbitrarily and the speculation that he does not care for me spread. Truly a unilateral speculation, and as if it was true and real. These false rumors spread quickly, which made me fearful, and I faced great pain and sadness from this. Uh, now, the, uh, the reason that the event was held uh, in this way, which they only answered a few questions, or didn't answer any questions, just gave a brief statement, uh, was to protect, uh, protect the former princesses, uh, princess from any further anxiety as a result of media scrutiny. Rosemary? Well, pretty tough stuff, isn't it? Uh, Blake Essig joining us live from Tokyo. Many thanks.